Hello everyone. The level of science in 10 plus 2 is significantly higher than the science you study up to standard 10th. In fact, it is so very high that when students go first go from standard 10th to standard 11th, which is just a difference of one year, unlike what was happening in the high school, what happens is that students are initially surprised and very soon many students are left with a feeling of being overwhelmed completely by this abrupt change in level. It is a significant quantum leap in the level, uh, both in terms of the difficulty as well as in, the, in terms of the coverage. So in this video, I thought that I will spell out some of these challenges so that students are better mentally prepared as they go from 10th to 11th. I will also try to give some pointers so that students can hope to or try to overcome some of these challenges. Now, most of the things that I'm going to discuss, they are based on my own experiences because now I am a faculty member here in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at IIT Kharagpur. But more than 20 years ago, I was myself a student, just like you are now, going from 10th to 11th and being completely overwhelmed and to be honest, I had kind of messed up my 11th, although I did not completely waste it, but I had, uh, I had not done as well as I should have uh, prepared. So based on all of these experiences, I'm going to spell out some of the things. Uh, I hope it is useful to you. Uh, in the following, I'm not going to discuss anything specific to physics, chemistry or mathematics. Rather, I will speak in general terms uh, also, I will not be talking about biology because I have never studied that in my 10 plus 2. So I should not be giving expert comments on what I don't know. Uh, but on physics, chemistry, maths, I will not give any specific advice. If you think you are finding this general discussion useful, let me know in the comments and I will try to make some vi uh, videos specifically for physics, chemistry and math meaning. So without further ado, let us get into the points. The first uh, challenge the students face is a bit psychological. So when they, are, when they are faced with this uh, immense rise in the level, almost an order of magnitude rise in the level from the 10th to 11th, um, they are, many of them are actually are in a state of denial. I know I was. The state of denial is that, oh, come on, it cannot be really that difficult. Maybe what I'm really missing, the students think like this, that maybe uh, it's just my age and I'm feeling a little bit demotivated. Maybe I had prepared so much for my 10th board and now I have become a little tired. I'll rest a little bit. I will freshen my mind and then I will be able to understand the concepts a little bit better. So it will come easily to me. This is completely false. Okay, the level actually is higher. The things actually are difficult. I don't want to scare any one of you, but this is the truth. And you have to deal with this truth as soon as possible. If you live in a state of denial, it is only going to harm and bite back you, bite back at you. So uh, everyone, everyone who understands the concepts genuinely, they go through this intense battle. And as one student rightly pointed out uh, in the comments section uh, of my community post, that it is like a rebirth, going through this entire process of trying to understand the things at such a higher level. Uh, compared to 10th, it is almost like a rebirth. It is like a recreation of yourself. And like any creative process, it is supposed to be painful and it is painful. So you are, if you are feeling those pains, deal with it. Okay, you are mature now, no longer a kid. The next point coming to the subject matter is that unlike 10th, the, the subject matter in 10 plus 2 is such that it is very sequential in nature. This is particularly so in physics and mathematics, but even in chemistry it is so. So what happens is that the concepts, they build one upon another. You cannot hope to skip one topic and then study another a later topic in isolation, which you could have po possibly done and which you probably actually did in your 10th. But in 10 plus 2, it just doesn't work like that. So what happens is that sometimes students a little bit lax they do not keep up with their classes. They are not up to date with their classes. And later on when the teacher and later on when they feel a little bit motivated, quote unquote motivated to study seriously, start studying seriously, they find that the teacher is top, teaching some later topic. They start learning from seriously from that topic. But then they find that they, that their 
background knowledge is not sufficient to study that topic and they have to go back to the beginning and this again creates a cycle of uh, immense demotivation so from the very first day from the zeroth day you have to be really careful when your classes start when if you are going for coaching uh, i mean you have to be serious from the day zero the next point is that unlike class 10 there are lots of interconnections across the subjects so within the subjects there are certainly interconnections across the topics but across the subjects also there are interconnections for example when you first start learning mechanics and physics which are the first chapters in physics you have to know a little bit of calculus but calculus is taught in mathematics formally and the problem is that calculus doesn't come until much later in mathematics actually you have to first study trigonometry properly to study calculus so what do you do well you have to read and you have to get a hang of of calculus as much as possible just by self-study or by whatever the physics teacher teaches you as some mathematical preliminaries and then you have to get on with it and later on you have to come back to calculus to study it properly so these kinds of things are quite challenging it happens a lot in in organic chemistry also so if i ever make a video about the specific subjects i will discuss some of those things uh, now uh, so uh, directly connected with this point is that uh, within the within the various topics there are actually different levels of understanding yeah the earlier you realize this the better it is so what i mean by that is upon your first reading you may be able to understand it at a certain level but that understanding is not enough you have to come back to it you have to reread it you have to revise it actually revision comes a little bit later first you have to undergo a lot of iterations of reading the topics on your own so that you can unlock different different higher levels of understanding and deeper depths and and depths and newer depths of insight into the topic only after you have developed a certain depth of understanding and insights only then you can start going for something called a revision so unlike the topics or unlike the studies of standard 10th where you study one chapter once if you are serious with it within that one study uh, you'll be done with it but unlike but unlike that in standard 11th and standard 12th you have to come back if you have to keep on coming back to the chapters to study them to restudy them to re to reread them and to really rethink about the concepts and also have the intellectual honesty to to say to yourself that okay what i had what i thought i had understood previously i had not really understood or what i had perhaps thought in a certain way i had not really that was wrong and i have to revise my concept i have to realign my concepts to understand it in a proper way so uh, these are some of the subject matter specific things and another very important point is that a lot of the concepts are actually very abstract so for example in the first few chapters of uh, chemistry you have to learn about hybrid orbitals and whatnot so these are extremely abstract concepts uh, related to probabilities uh, and which requires you to really unlock your brain to understand things at a completely newer and extremely higher plane uh, so as i said earlier you have your mind has to go through a recreation of itself a rebirth uh, now even when the topics are not that abstract um, some more concrete topics are there per perhaps in physics in mechanics but even then now uh, even the best teacher cannot really teach you uh, the topics of 10 plus 2 and this is true in all of science actually no matter how high a level you go even beyond 10 plus 2 uh, no teacher can actually teach you a subject they can only show you certain paths of understanding but you have to read the things on your own you have to think for yourself you have to have that courage that real courage to tackle things on your own only then you will be able to learn things for yourself you have to have that courage to process the thoughts in your mind you have to have the courage to to sit alone unaided no teacher speaking to you no video lecture nothing from youtube playing in front of you you alone with the topic in front of you and thinking with the open book maybe on one small paragraph for a long long time unless you can until you can actually tell yourself that yes 
I am really clear with the concepts. And as I said earlier, and I have, I cannot emphasize this enough. You have to be really, really intellectually honest. You have to be absolutely honest with yourself. Without this honesty, nothing is, nothing can be done. The best coaching, the best teachers, nothing can help you. That unless you are absolutely clearly, clearly honest with yourself that yes, I have not understood this thing and I will not get up from my chair unless I really understand it. Another important point is to do with problem solving. I have already made some important videos regarding problem solving uh, where I discuss some very crucial points. But I will still say that one of the biggest challenges in 10 plus 2 is to improve your conceptual understanding on one hand and on the other hand improve your problem solving ability also. Because without this, whether it is for boards or for JE or for whatever other competitive examination, without the development of this problem solving ability, you will be nowhere. So uh, side by side with your conceptual understanding, you have to develop this problem solving ability also. It is not just by practicing too many problems or just looking at the example problems. You have to again go through that pain, that struggle, that battle of uh, of fighting with the problems on your own completely unaided without looking at any hints without looking at any solutions only when you are able to do the problems on your own without looking at anything without without taking any external help just your mind and the problems alone only then you'll be able to say that yes i have really genuinely understood this topic so this is something which many students uh, do not realize as they go from 10 to 10 plus 2. Uh, I have said quite a few things actually, uh, but there are still a lot of things uh, left to be said, uh, especially when we go into the uh, specific subjects. So if you think that uh, you have uh, kind of benefited by some of these pointers, do let me know in the comments and I will uh, try to make a video specific for the topics. Thank you very much.